Good morning. Today's lesson is 2.1. Today we're going to be focusing on fractions and decimals. Our central question is, how can you convert between fractions and decimals? Connect. You can use place value to write a decimal as a fraction or a mixed number. So looking at our place value, we have our ones place, and we have our decimal. After our decimals are tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. The African pygmy hedgehog is a popular pet in North America. The average pygmy hedgehog weighs between 0.5 or 5 tenths of a pound and 1.25 hundredths. How can these weights be written as fractions or mixed numbers? So first, how do you know if a fraction is in its simplest form? Well, in order to know that, the numerator and the denominator will have only one as a common factor. If that's not the case, then it's not in its simplest form. Let's write 0.5 or 5 tenths as a fraction and 1 in 25 thousand hundredths as a mixed number in its simplest form. So 0.5 is 5, I said that earlier, tenths. So if I'm going to simplify using the greatest common factor, this is 5 tenths, right? So 5 tenths. 5 tenths, 5 tenths. Pretty easy, right? So what is the greatest common factor of 5 and 10? Well, that's easy. It's 5. And so we have 5 tenths equals 5 tenths. And then since the greatest common factor is 5, we're going to divide by 5 over 5. 5 goes into 5 one time, and 5 goes into 10 two times. Because oh, we did both by so, because whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So we're going to, our simplest form on this one is going to be a half. Now let's look at 1 in 25 hundredths. So again, it's 25 hundredths. So this is 1 and 25 hundredths. So if we're using greatest common factor, greatest common factor of 25 and 100 is 25. So we're going to have 1 and 25 hundredths. Oh, and whatever you do to the numerator and the denominator, you have to do the same. So it's still going to be 25. So we have 1 and 25 hundredths, which is in, if we're going to try and make it in the simplest form, I'm going to put my 1 and 25 hundredths here. And I'm dividing the top and the bottom by 25. And when I divide 25 by 25, I get 1. When I divide 25 into 100, I get 4. So 1 and 1 fourth is going to be my simplest form here. So then that means that it was between a half a pound and 1 and 1 fourth pound. You can use division to write a fraction or a mixed number as a decimal. So if we're going to write 6 and 3 eighths as a decimal, we're going to use division to rename the fraction as part of a decimal. So the quotient has three decimal places. Um, step two, so we have eight going into three with three decimal places. So the next step is to add the whole numbers. Oh, let's do this first. So eight can't go into three, but it can go into 30. It goes into third. Oh, put my decimal there. It goes into 30 three times. Three times eight is 24. I subtract. I get six. I bring down a zero. 8 goes into 60 70 times. 70 times 8 is 56. I subtract. I get 10 there, 5 there, so I have a 4. Bring down my 0 again. Now I have 8 going into 40, which goes in 5 times, and that goes in equally. So if you're going to add the whole number to the decimal, we have 6 plus 0 0.375, which is right there, equals 6.375. Three seven five, so six and th three eighths is going to be six point three seven five. All right. And if you're wanting to know where I got this from, I got it from right here, because I have eight, or three divided by eight, so that's how I did that. Eight can't go into three, so I'm going to put my decimal and my zero. So they wanted the three the three decimals, and that's why they did that. So I just wanted you to know that that three and that eight just weren't magically there. It came from the fraction itself. Using graphs. Sometimes people can use a number line to convert fractions and decimals. Can you use this number line to write the decimal for three and three-fifths? Explain. 
So the answer to that is yes. Because the number line is divided into tenths, so we have our little um, three and three fifths, so there's three and three fifths right there, is located um, between the three and the three sixths. So three and three fifths is 3.6, right? On the number line below, write the decimal for the fractions 1 50th and 2 25th. So there's my 1 50th. And if I were to do that, I'm over 1, 2. So I'm going to put, I'm going to write 0 0.02. And then over here, it's going to be 0 0.08. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if you look, that's 8. And this one right here was 2 tenths, and that was 8. Or um, two, one, 2 hundredths, and that one was 8 hundredths. So as I'm reading this, I have 95 and 5 tenths. So if you know your decimal place, that's the tenth. So then this means it's 95 and 5 tenths. And then if I'm going to reduce that, I know 5 can go into both of those, so it's going to be 95. 5 goes into 5 one time, and 5 goes into 10 two times. So same thing over here. We have, this is 6 tenths, right? So now I have to look to see what can go into both of those. Well, I know that 2 can go into 6, so if I divide this by 2, and I divide this by 2, then I get... 6 goes into 2 3 times, um, 2 goes into 10 5 times, so my answer is going to be 3 fifths. Let's do, um, let's do another one. Let's see. Actually, now we're going to do the opposite. So let's do these. These are the opposite. So now I'm seeing 7 divided by 8, right? 7, and the, this line says divided by 8. So 7 divided by 8. So 8 can't go into 7. I put my decimal here. It's going to go into 70. 8 goes into 78 times because 8 times 8 is 64. When I subtract, I get 6. Bring down or add a 0 and bring it down. So now 8 goes into 67 times. 8 times 7 is 56. I subtract 10, 5. I get a 4. Add another zero, bring it down, I get eight goes into 45 times, and it goes in equally, so I can stop. So if I'm going to write seventh eighths as a decimal, it's going to be 0.875 or 875 thousandths. So if you have the fraction, you're going to divide. If you have the um, decimal, just know its place value. So this is five and 75 hundredths, so it's going to be five holes and 75 hundredths, and then you just need to reduce. All right, you may work with a partner or myself. Good luck.